Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about my very personal experience with these sunscreens that I have tried this year. I am obsessed with sunscreen. I have pigmentation on my skin and sunscreen has been the only thing proven to work for me, not just to take down the pigmentation, but to prevent getting even more or getting darker pigmentation so i have been in a journey to find the perfect sunscreen for my skin i have very dehydrated skin it is dry but at the same time produces fair amount of oil when i am wearing makeup so it is a weird skin type apart from that most of the sunscreens do break me out clog my pores my skin reacts immediately to sunscreens so trying sunscreens has been a long journey hard painful and expensive journey i'm still going through it i wouldn't say that i already found my holy grail of sunscreen so if you have any recommendations for me to try just let me know in the comments for now i'm just going to talk to you through everything I've tried this year. I have tried one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sunscreens this year. I'm just going to tell you what I think about them, why I like them, why I don't like them. Of course, this applies to my skin. Everyone has a different journey. I recommend that you do your own journey, especially when it comes to sunscreen. I think skin reacts very differently to them. And I would say that the best sunscreen for you is going to be the one that you love and you apply every day. Also, another thing with sunscreens is that you do have to apply a certain amount of sunscreen to make it, you know, work properly. I think that's something that a lot of people miss when choosing their sunscreen. And as I said in the beginning, I have pigmentation, so this is no joke for me i am not trying to apply the less amount of product i will apply a lot of product every day in my skin i don't care but it has to work for me because i am a makeup artist i love makeup i apply makeup pretty much every day even if it's not a full coverage i will apply a little bit of makeup so for me it's very important that works underneath makeup that works well with my skincare routine my skin is very prone to break out especially from sunscreens and I have very sensitive eyes, so you can see why this is such a hard task for me. Anyway, there's a lot of products here, so let's just get started. The first sunscreen that I'm going to talk about today is one that I don't have with me right now. I did finish the bottle and I just threw it out and because I didn't repurchase it, I don't have it here, is the Neutrogena Sheer Sink Sunscreen. All of my sunscreens are going to be 50 plus, I think I have one that is 30%. I'm going to talk about that in a second, but actually I have two, but for the most part, they're all 50 plus. I want the most protection I can get. I have used this for a long time. It has worked very good for me. I would say that if you have pigmentation, this is a great sunscreen to have. However, it is a mineral sunscreen and it leaves the most white cast ever. It's very hard to remove that cast. Of course, once you rub it in for a long time, you will get rid of it. I am very fair skin, so that is less of a problem for me but if you have darker skin this is probably not the best sunscreen for you with this sunscreen it just works you know the only thing with this sunscreen is that i don't really want to apply it because it's such a hard job it stays in the hairline but the sunscreen itself really works for me especially when i was using products to control my pigmentations and it really protected my skin from getting more pigmentation or from the sun when I was using this kind of product so if you're okay with zinc if you don't mind it then that's a really great product but as I say it's hard to apply and that's the reason why I just didn't repurchase it anymore and decided to go in a journey to find the perfect sunscreen but because I love that sunscreen I got this one this is the Hydro Boost Water Gel Lotion. This is a sunscreen, SPF 50, water resistant, non-greasy. It sounds amazing, right? <laughs> well, it's not. I did not like this sunscreen. It claims to be everything that I want. It didn't tick any of the boxes for me. As I said, this is going to be a very different journey for everyone. So go ahead and try and see how it works for you. But for me, this was 
it, it feels nice like the consistency the texture is nice it's not a tinted sunscreen this one is a chemical sunscreen so there is no white cast um, it is a nice texture it's a gel like it, it goes very nicely in the skin but it peels it doesn't matter what it is that I put underneath it with my makeup it peels always 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 peels it stings my face I apply it on and it starts burning I get a burning sensation it goes away but it's still burning a little bit and my eyes do get irritated with this so it really wasn't doing anything for me I was dying every time that I had to apply this sunscreen and I don't know why it took me so long to just not finish it to just decide that I needed a new sunscreen I'm pretty much finished this it's just not for me not for me I do however like the consistency of this sunscreen it didn't break me out I don't know why but all Neutrogena sunscreens I think none of them breaks me out which is really surprising for me but anyway I did not like this sunscreen at all so after this I decided to try a different brand because well that didn't work out <laughs> and I got this Sukin SPF 30 sheer touch facial sunscreen this is a mineral sunscreen I was really into mineral sunscreen I was trying to find the perfect mineral sunscreen for me just because I heard that for pigmented skin mineral was better just because of the way it protects the skin I'm not an expert in that so I'm not going to give you a full lesson on how chemical and mineral work but I wanted to get a mineral sunscreen so I was really after that I have tried most of them are chemical actually but I was really going after a mineral now this is a mineral and this was such a weird experience to me because it is a very watery sunscreen I don't know if that's what I want to say because it feels more like it doesn't mix correctly so you get a very watery I, I don't know like a gel almost and then you get the sink which does leave a white cast that if you rub into your skin um, it will disappear eventually but I felt that I really had to apply too much to feel that I was actually protecting my skin that was not enjoyable at all because I would get it on my hair take too long to remove the cast and also I feel that with the mineral sunscreen you kind of have a little bit of texture in the sunscreen it's not as smooth and I was almost like exfoliating my skin every time I applied this so it started stinging my face after a few days of using this it has no silicones, no parabens, no SLS, SLES. It has a very long list of things it doesn't have. It was the one that made me decide not to finish the sunscreen that I didn't like because I was actually very obsessed about finish everything that I bought, but this was really not working for me. And I was just, you know what? I'm going to try the sunscreen and if it doesn't work for me, I'm going to pass and maybe I can use this on my body or somewhere else but not in my face because I think it, it was really hurting my face the fact that I was like rubbing it so much and yeah I'm, I'm not gonna do that to my face anymore regarding the 30 SPF well um, again I'm not an expert in this so I'm not going to talk too much about this but what I heard is that the difference like there is a lot of difference between an SPF 15 and an SPF 30 but when once you get to 30 the difference between 30 and 50 is not that much what does make the difference is how much sunscreen you apply and I make sure that I apply a lot of sunscreen and at least what I'm I've heard is the correct amount with this like two full fingers of sunscreen so decided to try with SPF 30 but if I can I would always stick to SPF 50 after all of this happened I was very much into the tinted sunscreen kind of sunscreens I really wanted to find a tinted sunscreen that was perfect for me that would just let me not wear foundation but just a light tint and maybe some concealer and stuff like that so I decided to splurge and let me say this is an expensive sunscreen <laughs> I think it's one of the most expensive that I've ever bought and this is the Meso Aesthetic Melon 130 Pigment Control Meso Protect sunscreen that's a mouthful 
it is 50 plus SPF it's a chemical sunscreen it is tinted and it's perfect if you have pigmentation It's designed to protect the skin from pigmentation it is a great sunscreen but this was very very unfortunate for me because it broke me out immediately it says it is for all skin types I wouldn't say it's for all skin types I think it's a very very shiny dewy sunscreen and I'm not too mad about that if especially you can set it you can mattify it in some other way I usually wear makeup on top of my sunscreen so that wouldn't be a problem for me really but I can see how having oily skin this would not work for me so I would say keep that in mind if you have oily skin and pigmentation but if you have pigmentation and you're looking for a tinted sunscreen then definitely give this a go and another thing that I have to say is that it is a tinted sunscreen of course it's not going to have a full coverage or anything it is however very dark for me I would say if I, when I'm in my palest I cannot use this sunscreen it's too dark so I would like for them to have different um, colors texture wise is very nice is very nice to apply in the skin so it's very easy it's creamy it's dewy so I really like that I was really really sad that this didn't work out for me because everything else I really liked moving on I was walking one day in the pharmacy and I found this Neutrogena ultra sheer face mist I thought that I had found my thing because one of the most hard things for me is that I like to wear makeup even if I'm not wearing a lot I like to apply makeup on myself every day when I'm working and not being able to reapply my sunscreen in an easy way during the day is something that I struggle with a lot this is a mist and I thought it was going to be the best thing to just like spray it in on top of my makeup and if I had to modify something on top that would be perfect and it says refreshing sunscreen spray SPF 50 and it was very disappointing let me say this is basically new I'm just going to use this on my body I will never apply this on my face again it says that makeup will stay in place that's probably the truth if you could spray it on the face but face mist and then in the directions it says do not spray directly onto face spray on hands and then apply to face how why would I need a spray if I cannot spray it in my face please so of course I did anyway it was hard to measure how much I was using with the spray it would sting my eyes you have no idea it's one of those sunscreens that when you sweat goes into your eyes and you get that burning sensation it's horrible so this is a miss for me 100% I will however use this in my body it is I do not love the scent I think it's actually not as greasy as I remember now that I apply it here I do however <laughs> it's not working anymore I don't it doesn't look as greasy as I remember but I remember that on my face it did look greasy for some reason but even if you take that away it stained my eyes so badly that I was not going to apply this I would use this on my body I think it would be nice to have to just like spray and reapply when you're in the beach or something like that but I would not use this for my face moving on to the next sunscreen I wanted to try this La Roche-Posay Anthelios 50 plus very high protection invisible fluid this is a lightweight sunscreen non shiny finish I love this sunscreen I love the texture I love the smell I love the packaging everything is good if you want to try a sunscreen give this one a, a, a chance um, however this breaks me out so another sunscreen that I that I love and I cannot use because it just breaks me out and it's so sad because everything about this I love I know they have a tinted version of this if you don't have that problem where sunscreen tends to break you out then give this a go because it's beautiful 
it's very liquidy but that means it's very easy to apply it's not too shiny on the skin i wouldn't say it's a matte finish but it isn't really dewy or really you know shiny it's not greasy at all it layers very well under makeup it's nice to apply you can just like take this bottle with you it's very you know like petite you can just fit it in your purse and reapply during the day everything good about this sunscreen just breaks me out unfortunately the next sunscreen i wanted to try was the ultraviolet sunscreen the lean sunscreen is a mineral sunscreen and i was really interested about this sunscreen i hope that i pronounced that right i was very interested about this sunscreen because it is a mineral sunscreen but it's not white it's it has like a skin color to it it's not necessarily a tinted sunscreen it does have a little tint to it but it's not a tinted sunscreen it just it's just not white and I thought that was going to be amazing like it was a thing when they launched this sunscreen it was sold out everywhere I tried to find it everywhere finally I got my hands on it and it did not work for me it didn't really break me out nothing not that I remember but it felt really heavy on the skin even if I didn't apply a lot of product it felt really really heavy on the skin it's definitely not a matte sunscreen so I wasn't really having a good experience with it and as I said the best sunscreen is going to be the one that you want to apply every day without missing a day so that was not gonna work for me I think it is a nice sunscreen but it feels heavy on the skin so that was a miss for me I don't have it with me but I'm going to put a photo of it here it's it's funny because it says I'm looking at a picture right now and it says a mattifying sink I didn't necessarily think it was mattifying I would say the Anthelius one is more matte than that one but anyway it didn't work for me the next sunscreen that I used was Cetaphil Face and Body SPF 50 Daily Facial Moisturizer. It says it's for all skin types. This was a nice one. It was you know like it doesn't stand out. It, nothing amazing really. It says daily care for sensitive skin, broad spectrum, one block pores, fragrance free. All of that is great. We all know Cetaphil is great for sensitive skin, but it did broke me out. I don't know why I don't know what it is but it did broke me out I do have to say it's not a mattifying sunscreen at all it's not the most shiny but it's definitely not a mattifying sunscreen it doesn't claim to be oil free or anything like that I actually think this is a good option if you are not very fussy with sunscreen definitely give this one a shot because it's nice to apply it's moisturizer you can use this as your daily moisturizer and it's nice I, it just broke me out it's it's a nice sunscreen and finally this is the one that i'm using right now is the neutrogena sheer ultra sheer clear face sunscreen liquid lotion spf 30 and this is the one for breakout prone skin so when i saw that i was like well i need to try it out because it's neutrogena and as i said the neutrogena ones doesn't break me out and it's one of my main concerns right now and because it says for breakout prone skin i was like with high expectations it is however an spf 30 but because i use a lot of it i think I can be okay with that. This is an oil-free sunscreen. It says it won't clog pores, doesn't break me out, works perfectly, is nice to apply. It's it's working really nice for me. I'm not too excited about it though. But I don't think sunscreen is something that will do that to you, you know what I mean? It's just nice. It's a water-like texture, so it's very thin on the skin. It's very easy to apply. Once you rub it in, it will absorb great and it won't leave a a wide cast. I won't say it's matte, but I won't say it's super dewy, super shiny. As, as I said, it's an oil-free sunscreen. I haven't found my holy grail sunscreen, but for now I'm sticking with this one. It layers well underneath makeup, doesn't sting my eyes, doesn't burn my skin, doesn't break me out. I think that's all I need in a sunscreen. It's really working out for me. 
and it's not a very expensive option too so I'm keen to trying new sunscreen but at the same time I go through so many sunscreens when I use them properly that it would be great to find one that I love and it's not breaking the bank. Let me know in the comments if you have tried great sunscreen, which one you love and would recommend for me to try. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!